Hello, and welcome to the production and pre-focusing video. Today, we're going to show you how to shoot a video from setup to tear down using microphones and lights, as well as pre-focusing and using pre-roll and end roll to make the shot perfect. One of the first things that has to be done on a shoot is pre-focusing your camera. This is important because autofocus always focuses on the closest thing to the lens. To begin pre-focusing, you're going to want to press the home button on your camera. This will lead you to the home screen where you can select the main functions tab. Then click on the focus tab where you can begin pre-focusing. To do this, first you must zoom in on your talent's eyes. After that, use the two buttons on the side until the shot is crisp. Once that is done, you can close it and begin shooting. Next, let's talk about pre-roll and end-roll. Make sure when you're recording, you always have at least 5 seconds of pre-roll and end-roll. 5 seconds is the minimum you can go, but to be safe, you can have 10 or even 15 seconds of pre-roll and end-roll. The use of pre-roll and end-roll is to make sure the shot is perfect. Pre-roll allows you to make sure nothing is happening in the background and the talent is in the proper position. End-roll ensures the clip is long enough. This is important especially when it comes to pan and tilt shots. A pan shot is when your camera is still on the tripod and you are moving the swing arm from left to right. A tilt shot is when you move the camera angle vertically up and down. You will need to fill out the following things on your clapboard. The title, the SD card number, the name of the shot, the take number, company name, director of the scene, camera operator, the date, and if there's any sound on the shot. Once the clapboard is filled out and the scene is ready, your director will say action. Depending on how your shot goes, you may have to do one of two things. If the shot you just took goes bad, you must do a couple of things before redoing the shot. The first thing is to mark on the shot log that the shot went bad. Next, you'll have to change a couple things on the clapboard. First, you have to change the take number, and if the camera person changes, also change that on the clapboard. If the shot was good, mark it down on the shot log as a good shot, and with all the necessary information from the clapboard. When adding audio to a shot, you'll need to use the boom mic. For setting up the boom mic to your camera, you'll need two cables, an XLR cable and an XLR mini adapter found in the studio cabinet. A full list of things you need are an XLR cable, an XLR mini adapter, a camera, a boom mic, and a battery. First you need to plug in the XLR cable into the boom mic, making sure the correct end is in the microphone. Then the XLR mini adapter gets plugged into the XLR cable's other end. Now you can plug the mini adapter into the camera and you're almost ready to record. At this point, make sure the batteries are in the boom mic and nothing else is plugged into the camera. Finally, on the side of the boom mic, there is a switch with three options on it. Make sure it is on telly for recording. Once you're done, remove the batteries from the mic and put away all cables.
Lighting is very important for any time you're recording. Lights do a lot of good things for a scene. For example, there are many clip-on lights that add specific light for a face in an interview. There are also big box lights that are used to add natural light to a scene where it may not be bright enough. The usage of lights cannot be stressed enough to make a scene complete.